Here we have another problem involving ellipses, and this is number 21 on page 638. I have already found the center of this. This time we're starting with uh, the graph here, and uh, we're finding the center, the foci, and all the vertices. Let me show you how to do that. So this red center, 4, negative 6, is right here. Um, the next thing we're going to do is find A and B. Now remember, A is the square root of 16 because that's 4 squared, which is 16. And 9, of course, is going to be 3 because that's 3 squared. So little a will equal 4 and little b will equal 3. Okay, now that's important on how we graph this. So since a equals 4 and b equals 3, I'll use uh, blue dots for a. So for the vertices, a is going to go sideways, so I need to go four spaces over from this center. So one, two, three, four. We're going to have a vertice right there, and we're going to go four to the left of the center, because that's what a is. Remember, a is 16, which is four. So one, two, three, four. So we got a vertice there, and we'll go ahead and label them. So this is going to be, uh, what, eight, negative six. This is... 4, negative 6, and this is, of course, 0, negative 6. For the Bs, I'll use pink dots, so I'll try to color code these. And B is equal to 3, so we're going to go up 3 from the center. From the center, 1, 2, 3. That's going to be right there. Again, that was 1, 2, 3 up. Don't count the space you're on. Count the number of spaces, so I guess one, two, three. People get that backwards sometimes. And this is going down three, one, two, three down. And we'll label these coordinates real fast. That is four, negative three, and four, negative nine. Okay, then we'll take our circle tool and a nice red color, I guess. We'll do our best to plop this ellipse right on there. Live. And... There it is. So there's our ellipse. The answer to the vertices here are all four of these points. The two pink dot or pink points, four negative three, four negative nine, and of course eight negative six and zero negative six. Those would all go in right here for the vertices. So that's those four answers there. That's the easy part. What's hard about this is finding the foci. Okay. And to do that, let's get right to it. Watch very closely how this is done one more time. This semi-minor axis from here down to here is three units long. The semi-major axis from here all the way to here is four. That means that on this theoretical point here, we'll call it, where it's just the focus that goes from the top of this point, watch closely, down to here, that black line is how long? Four. Excellent. That is the hypotenuse of this right angle. And so what we have to do now is find that right there, which we call C. This is um, B. almost called that A again. This is little a, which means this is also A. So our equation for the, hypot or the uh, Pythagorean theorem for this is B squared plus C squared equals A squared. And if we just knock this out real quick, this is going to be 3 squared plus c squared equals 4 squared. 9 plus c squared equals 16. Subtract 9. c squared equals 7. So c equals radical 7. And that thing doesn't simplify at all, so we just leave it radical 7. Um, that's c right there. For our focus or foci formula, it is h plus or minus c comma k that is correct right okay it's hard to memorize that sometimes so it would be h of course remember is this k is that that's the center so it would be four plus or minus radical seven comma negative six that is the equation or the coordinates of the foci. The vertices 
um, this, 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 and this would all go right here, okay, in that blank. And that's basically number 21. See you later.